Hey guys, uh, one thing I forgot, before you work on this vehicle, make sure it's, it's turned off um, and you chalk the tires with some kind of wood or a, a tire, tire wheel chalk. That way the vehicle won't roll because once you undo that clip and you open it up, uh, you're gonna be releasing that transmission cable and it will start rolling because you're taking it out of park, possibly dropping it into reverse. If you're on a hill, it's gonna go down the hill. If you drop it into neutral, it can go either way. So make sure before you start this, turn the vehicle off, put some kind of wood or chalks in between and on both sides of the tire so that vehicle will not roll and it doesn't roll on you and, and run you over and get hurt. Be safe, check the video out. Hey, it's Keith with Two Guys How To, back out again this morning. Uh, it's driving me crazy on this transmission on this 2006 Chevy Impala SS with the 5.3. Seems like the, the transmission is a little bit slippy when uh, not, it's kind of loose and sloppy up there when you shift it. It seems like it should go first, second, third, overdrive, and then into neutral, and then into reverse. It's just, uh, and then in the park, it almost seems like it's double clicking on some of them where it's not quite in gear. So let's go ahead and, uh, and, and I'm gonna try to adjust the transmission uh, cable as far as the linkage here. Now I've never done this before, but uh, I was looking at it and it looks like you just pull, you locate this uh, linkage cable here, the actual shifter cable that comes up into the hood, it's right next to the air box. And there's a clip that holds it on this cross member here. It goes up in the front hood. And uh, let me get down and close and show you exactly what's going on. All right, and to get this retaining clip off, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, once you locate the cable part here, coming out of the firewall, and it snaps back, it's spring loaded, just pull it back. I got a small flathead screwdriver. I got three of them here, but I'm just gonna use one. And uh, you want the white, white part of the clip facing up, that blue piece of the blue dotted paint is going to be on the bottom. Keep that on the bottom, slide that back, it's just like a spring loaded door. And just go right in that the, the side gently, just pull up on the left side. Let's see if I can get it better this way. Just want to pull up on it just a little bit. Hold that up and go around the other side and pull up a little bit on that side. And just keep going up little by little until it gets loose and it'll pop out on its own. And you can see it's still, it's still sitting right there. So right where it's sitting, you don't need to take it all the way out. If you do that, you gotta make sure you get it back in right. Just do that and if you, if you pull the cable to you, you're gonna be tightening up that stick shift. If you push it, push it back towards the firewall, it's gonna be making more slop. You know, just a tip too, when you're adjusting this thing, uh, when you have the clip out, when, you're, when you push it towards the firewall, if you add length to that cable inside there when it looks like it's in park, it's gonna be in park in there, but when you go to turn the key on, it's not gonna start because that transmission isn't gonna be set up for park and work with the whole ignition system. So if you do have problems one time where maybe the key's not start, you've got some slop in your, in your stick shift there, in the automatic stick on the shifter, um, it could very well be the problem that your linkage is so far worn out or not adjusted right um, that by pulling this forward, pulling, pushing these two together, will allow it to start inside and I'll show you I'll go ahead and um, I loosen this up and I brought it back from the original position that I really wanted it at just to show you that it doesn't start inside and let's go over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about so because I pulled it too much it's not even in park right now it's not allowing me to start the vehicle so let's go back out we're gonna adjust it a little bit better take it back relatively close to where it was, but I still want uh, more adjustment than what we had. Pull the black part back once again. Get this clip up off of there, the white clip. You gotta do each side kind of evenly or you'll break that clip. 
push it back back on there a little bit more somewhere around in there That did it, and I can show you guys what I did here. I'll try to get up and close. Get up and personal with it. Basically, you got this uh, linkage cable here that goes to your transmission, goes up to the firewall, comes down, and you slide this plastic back. It's spring-loaded. You'll see it's got a spring here and a spring here that's exposed. Don't worry about that. Just try to get into uh, this main area, the middle right here, and you slide that back. And that's the clip. If you pop that clip up and out of there, it's like a horseshoe clip. You can move this whole unit up or back, taking away throttle cable, I mean, excuse me, transmission cable, or, or giving more cable. But it's gotta be right. So before on here, I had this, the two springs. You can see these threads down under there. You can't really see them, and I can poke at them with the screwdriver. They're down in there. And there was probably about eight or nine threads exposed. So I lifted this up. I removed that little off-white, almost a bone color horseshoe uh, clamp style clip. You can just pop that up. You don't even have to take it all the way out. Just pop it up. And this will slide freely up and back. And I pushed it forward towards the front headlights. And I got rid of all those threads. Now, when I go to shift, the Ford had like a first, first, a second, second, and a third, third. It was uh, hard to explain other than when you'd shift back in reverse, and you can see the reverse there, it was sloppy right here. It would go to, like, into another reverse. Now, when it went back a click, we're in neutral. Before, it would go reverse, reverse, neutral neutral uh, this should be drive and it was like a drive drive it was like two gears and one there so right here you can see it's saying drive and I can see if we can get up in there it's a little crooked but uh and then let's go to third and before it had a third third down here it was going click click again it had almost like it had two gears there so let's go back down a second that's third, that's second, and it should line up on the dash. And let's go to first. Before it had a first first, it was like click, 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 like that over and over. So now when we go up one, we should be in second, and we're in second. Let's go up one more, we're in third. Let's go up one more, now we're in drive or overdrive, which would be fourth. Let's go to neutral. And you gotta push the button in and go into reverse. And you can see right there, it's reverse and all the way up in the park. So I'm gonna put this in the drive. Now it's shifting right. I'm gonna run this thing up the street and see what's up. And it's actually that simple. And I think before, the way they had the adjustment was because it wasn't quite into gear, it was revving up to 6,000 RPMs and you were topping off at 60. So staying in between maybe first and second gear, and you're gonna end up burning that transmission out. And especially this big V8, this is a 5.3 liter. This big thing normally would be rear wheel drive on like the older Chevrolets or the trucks. Uh, this is a transaxle, so the motor's sitting sideways. This is actually a front wheel drive 
uh, V8. So uh, they're kind of rare, and that's a lot of torque to have come off that motor and not have that transmission stay in gear the way it's supposed to and then go in and go out, go in and go out. Do it yourself, fix it. Keith with two guys how-tos. I'm out of here, I'm on to the next thing. Make sure you subscribe and like. We'll see ya later. I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer.